Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hide your name and perhaps your email from appearing when you log into your Windows 10 computer. So this should be a fairly straightforward tutorial and we're going to jump right into it. So while there is a group policy editor method, I do not want to exclude my friends on Windows 7 on Windows 10 Home Edition. So we're going to be using the registry editor for this tutorial. And like I said, we're going to start by opening up the registry editor. So if you don't know how to do it, head over to the start menu, left click on it, type in regedit. Best match should say regedit here. You want to right click on that and then left click on run as administrator. When you receive a user account control window, you want to select yes. So now on the left side here, you want to navigate over to HK local machine and either double click on this folder or left click on the little arrow next to it to expand the options underneath. Once you've done that, you want to go underneath the software folder and now the Microsoft folder. And if you notice you're getting a little crammed in here, just move this little bar over a bit so you can see where you're going. So again, you can see up at the top is our path as of right now. So we're going underneath HK Local Machine. We just went underneath the Microsoft folder. Now I'm going to go look for the Windows folder, probably near the bottom of this list right here. So Windows. And now I'm going to go to current version, expand that. And now I'm going to look for something that says policies right here. Expand that one as well. Now you want to left click on the system folder. And now I'm going to expand the area on the right here by dragging the little bar in between the name and the type tabs. So you see what I'm doing. Now there should be something that says don't display last username. You want to double click on that. So in this field, it's currently a zero. You want to change that zero to a one. So just delete the zero and type a one in here. Make sure the base is still set to hexadecimal. That should not change. Once you're done doing that, you want to click on OK. Once you've done that, now you want to right click on some empty space down here. Right underneath validate admin code, more than likely. You want to right click, left click on new, then select D word 32 bit value. Now you want to name this don't display locked user ID. Exactly how it appears on my screen here. So don't display locked user ID. Every word should be capitalized and ID should be capital as well. Once you have it exactly how it appears on my screen, you want to hit enter. Now at this point you want to double click on this entry. For value data, you want to change it from a zero in here to a three. So just type the number three over the zero, just delete the zero, type a three in here. Again, make sure that's hexadecimal, then click on OK. So if we close out of here, and if we restart our computer, the info should be hidden the next time we enter in our computer. So let me just give you guys a demonstration here.
Okay, so now that we're on our screen and we try and swipe up our lock screen, you see you have to enter in now your username and your password. From a privacy standpoint, so just make sure you take note of what your username is before you do this, just so you don't get accidentally locked out. But as always, I do hope this brief tutorial was able to help you guys out. And as always, thank you for watching, and I look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.